Well, good afternoon. It is February 22nd. It, it is Wednesday, Worship Live, and we're so glad that you joined us today. Amen. Thank you for dialing in with us. Some of you do it every time we do it a podcast, and yeah. we want you to know how much we appreciate that. So this is going to be worship from the hymn sing, and also uh, from Friday night of couples. So awesome. Bill Kiefus and Elizabeth are going to share from the hymn sing, and then Sue and Jeff are going to lead worship. This was from our couples weekend here at America's Keswick. Let's worship together on this Wednesday edition of Worship Live. Listen to these two familiar verses from John chapter one to introduce my solo today. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. In the beginning was the Word, the love of God shone everywhere, but sin corrupted God's creation and destroyed the sweet communion we had shared. So God reached downward toward his children. He spoke through men of things to come. We heard his message and tried to follow, but we could not comprehend his words of love. Words of love, words of love, words alone were not enough to make us understand. So God sent one more word, one clear and glorious word. His love shines in the word, Jesus. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was God and was with God. He was made flesh and dwelt among us. And without him was not anything conceived. He came to show us the Father's glory. He came to prove the Father's love. And we who follow and trust the Savior find the garden's lost communion is restored. Words of love, words of love, Words alone were not enough to make us understand. So God sent one more word, one clear and glorious word. His love shines in the word, Jesus, 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 Jesus.
Let's give the Lord Jesus a praise and clap for him. Hallelujah. Alleluia. Alleluia. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. time of retro worship as well as some new and some old. How many here are, are old and are okay with that? <laughs> A hymn of the church that was one of my favorite growing up. And I want you to make sure you really listen to the words you're singing. Oh, love that will not let me go. This whole weekend is about the love of Christ and the love of couples. But I'm, a, I'm saying to myself, Lord, open up my heart tonight. Open up my heart. The love, the light, the joy, and the cross. Amen. Oh, love, that will not let me go. I rest my weary soul
sunshine's blaze each day may brighter That seeks me through the pain. I cannot close my heart to thee. I chase. thankful to be in your presence tonight. You are mighty in all things. You are mighty in all things. And we say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being mighty to save in our hearts, in our minds, in our thoughts, oh God. Prepare unto me the joy of your salvation. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of the Savior, the hope of nations. That's our hope tonight. Savior, He can. My God is mighty to save, He is mighty to save, forever author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave, Jesus conquered Take me as you find me, all my fears and failures, fill my life again, fill my life again, give my life to follow, everything I believe in, oh yeah, now I surrender, oh I surrender all, oh yes, oh yes, say singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Oh, yes. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save, oh, forever, author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave, Jesus conquered the grave, oh, Savior, he can move the mountain, yes, my God is mighty to save, he is mighty to save, oh,
lift your hand tonight and you say, you know what? He conquered not only the grave, but he conquered my heart in Jesus' name. Let's give him the praise and honor that he deserves. Praise God. Amen. 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 So here is the best part. I've been happily married 35 out of 48 years to this wonderful man. And <laughs> that's terrible. Lord, I apologize again. But anyway, we have had 50 years of singing together, and uh, it has been such a blessing. We started in high school, and I was sharing with a new friends on the second row here that uh, I went to a youth camp, and I came home with a spouse. <laughs> but I was only 13, so we had to wait a while on that one. <laughs> but we love all kinds of music. We love the worship of the Lord, and I hope that uh, during this weekend, this will be an opportunity for you to also dig deep. And let the Holy Spirit speak to you in ways that maybe he hasn't in a long time. This is a great, great jazz gospel song. With your permission, is jazz gospel all right to do? Good. We were going to do it anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but it really does express my heart and my life for him. I would be nothing. I would be nothing without Jesus tonight. I called the Lord in my distress with darkness all around the cords of death and godlessness had left me trapped and bound when the sound of my feeble cry finally reached his throne on high he flew down from heaven on the wings of a wind, and I found refuge in him. I will love you, Christ my Savior.
force like never before. That's right. There'll be no pain or sorrow. He's gonna wipe every tear from our eyes. Well, the last will be first, and everybody that thirst is gonna drink from the waters of life. Well, Yes. Mm-hmm. 
All right, James, we're in the middle of the month. What a what a great month. I think Sue needs more energy. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel bad because, like, she was really, really hoping that the Eagles were going to win the Super Bowl. I mean, I was too, but, I yeah. mean, she was really. I'm a, I'm a Giants fan. She, oh, well, God love you. Um, she's probably going to have to go oh, into man. trauma counseling because she was yeah. really, she had the outfit that was and very everything. very traumatic. There's All right, like, what's happening? Always next year. That's right. So what's happening? So this weekend, I, I believe we're sold out. Tell me if I'm wrong, but Hispanic Weekend 1 is this Friday. And then we actually have a second Hispanic Weekend, which is the following weekend. Okay, and they're, they're both technically sold out. Technically, All of yeah. the rooms are gone. Uh, we have... Technically, 189 people yes. here for each of those, but we love our Hispanic brothers and sisters, and they sometimes bring extra people. They do. They do. So we're looking forward to a great week in the ministry. Yeah. As we've often said, everything about the weekend is done in Spanish. That's right. Even the worship. How do you do that? Well, Robert Hayes taught <laughs> me that there are three pedals on the piano. The left one is the soft pedal. The right one is the sustain pedal. But if you push down on the middle pedal, it takes the music and translates it into Spanish. Ah. Isn't that cool? C. 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 <laughs> so be praying for our Hispanic brothers and sisters yes, as they come. Please. That God will really speak to their hearts. Yeah. We won't know what's, what's happening. That's right. But we'll know the fruits of that. So yeah. pray for Pastor Jack and Pastor Pat as they share yeah. the word throughout the weekend. All right, what else? It's going to be really special. So the following uh, week, March 2nd, uh, we have our March hymn sing. Okay. Coming up, that's the theme is going to be songs of heaven. Okay, why don't you tell them a little bit? Uh, we're going to sing songs about yeah, heaven, yeah. and uh, Michael Faircloth, Elizabeth Ray, David Harris, Keith Johnson, the whole crew, the whole crew of Joyce Seattle, they're all going to be here to lead us in worship. We had a great uh, February hymn yeah. sing, so if you've never been to one, I want to encourage you to come and join us. This would be a great one for you to visit. 1-800-453-7942. Check it out, or you can go online, www.americaskazakh.org. Mm -hmm. Let's tell them a few more things in early March. March 8th is our uh, March Girl Talk. Really excited to have Tamisha Stevens, yes. our Barber's Place uh, staff member, speaking. I've heard of a number of people already saying, I can't wait yeah, it's gonna to hear be that. Great. So that's going to be cool. And then the following evening, Men's Fellowship Night for March. We had such a spectacular time in February. Mm. Let's repeat that, guys. Come on out to hear Pastor Mike Woods from uh, over at the Pines. Come and share the word. Have a great meal. Uh, awesome worship. Looking forward to, I think. That's yeah, going to be a great night. Yeah. And we went to the Activity Center, so we, we want to keep that rolling. And so if you'd like to register for any of these events, call 1-800-453-7942. Check out the information online at www.americaskezik.org. Now you go and have a good rest yeah. of your day. Some of you are going to take a nap. I'm jealous. Enjoy. Hey, we look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow at 1.30 as Jim Lang shares his Everyday Victory podcast.